James Todd Smith, born January 14, 1968, known professionally as LL Cool J, short for Ladies Love Cool James, is an American rapper and actor. He is one of the earliest rappers to achieve commercial success, alongside fellow new school hip-hop acts Beastie Boys and Run DMC. Signed to Def Jam Recordings in 1984, LL Cool J's breakthrough came with his single, I Need a Beat, and his landmark debut album, Radio, 1985. He achieved further commercial and critical success with the albums Bigger and Deffer, 1987, Walking with a Panther, 1989, Mama Said Knock You Out, 1990, Mr. Smith, 1995, and Phenomenon, 1997. His twelfth album, Exit 13, 2008, was his last in his long tenure deal with Def Jam. He later re-signed with the label and released his fourteenth album, The Force, 2024. LL Cool J has appeared in numerous films, including Halloween H20, In Too Deep, Any Given Sunday, Deep Blue Sea, SWAT, Mind Hunters, Last Holiday, and Edison. He played NCIS Special Agent Sam Hanna in the CBS crime drama television series NCIS, Los Angeles. LL Cool J was also the host of Lip Sync Battle on Paramount Network. A two-time Grammy Award winner, LL Cool J is known for hip-hop songs such as Going Back to Cali, I'm Bad, The Boomin' System, Rock the Bells, and Mama Said Knock You Out, as well as R&B hits such as Doin' Hit, I Need Love, Around the Way Girl, and Hey Lover. In 2010, VH1 placed him on their 100 Greatest Artists of All Time list. In 2017, LL Cool J became the first rapper to receive the Kennedy Center honors. In 2021, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with an award for musical excellence. He has a net worth of $120 million. Early Life and Family James Todd Smith was born on January 14, 1968, in Bay Shore, on Long Island, New York to Andrea Griffith, born January 19, 1946, and James Lewis Smith Jr., also known as James Nunya. His 1997 memoir says his father abused his mother. According to the Chicago Tribune, as, a kid growing up middle class and Catholic in Queens, life for Smith was heartbreaking. His father shot his mother and grandfather, nearly killing them both. When four-year-old Smith found them, blood was everywhere. In 1972, Smith and his mother moved into his grandparents' home in St. Albans, Queens, where he was raised. He suffered physical and mental abuse from his mother's ex-boyfriend Roscoe. Smith began rapping at the age of 10, influenced by the hip-hop group The Treacherous Three. In 1984, 16-year-old Smith was creating demo tapes in his grandparents' home. His grandfather, a jazz saxophonist, bought him $2,000 worth of equipment, including two turntables, an audio mixer, and an amplifier. During this time, Smith reconciled with his father who made amends for a lot of things by offering him guidance at the start of his music career. His mother was also supportive of his musical endeavors, using her tax refund to buy him a chord drum machine. Smith has stated that by the time he received musical equipment from his relatives, he was already a rapper. In this neighborhood, the kids grow up in rap. It's like speaking Spanish if you grow up in an all Spanish house. This was at the same time that NYU student Rick Rubin and promoter manager Russell Simmons founded the then-independent Def Jam label. By using the mixer, he had received from his grandfather, Smith produced and mixed his own demos and sent them to various record companies throughout New York City, including Def Jam. Personal Life Relationships Smith dated Kid Ada Jones, daughter of producer Quincy Jones, from 1992 to 1994. Marriage. He married Simone Johnson in 1995. The couple met in 1987 and have four children. Simone Johnson Smith was diagnosed with chondrosarcoma, a third stage bone cancer, and was later cancer free as of 2004. She became an entrepreneur, launching a jewelry line in 2011, before becoming a born again Christian. 
Smith is credited with introducing his wife to singer and close friend Mary J. Blige in 2005, inspiring their friendship. Both women launched another jewelry line, Sister Love, in late 2020 after announcing it two years prior. In 2023, the couple co-founded a jewelry line for men, Majesty. Ancestry In an episode of Finding Your Roots, Smith learned that his mother was adopted by Eugene Griffith and Ellen Hightower. The series' genetic genealogist C.C. Moore identified Smith's biological grandparents as Ethel May Jolly and Nathaniel Christie Lewis through analysis of his DNA. Smith's biological great-uncle was Hall of Fame boxer John Henry Lewis. Political Involvement In 2002, LL Cool J supported George Pataki's bid for a third term as governor of New York. In 2003, LL Cool J spoke at a U.S. Senate committee hearing on the RIAA lawsuits against Americans distributing or downloading copyrighted music over peer-to-peer -peer networks. He appeared to endorse the RIAA's position, claiming illegal file sharing was hurting his sales and that his session musicians can't live due to the lost income. Chuck D. provided an opposing viewpoint, saying free file sharing could be leveraged as a promotional tool and the industry was being overprotective of its copyright. LL also voiced his support for New York State Senator Malcolm Smith, a Democrat, during an appearance on the senator's local television show, LL worked with Smith in putting on the annual jump and ball tournament in the rapper's childhood neighborhood of St. Albans, Queens. In a February 10, 2012 televised interview with CNN host Piers Morgan, LL Cool J expressed sympathy for President Barack Obama and ascribed negative impressions of his leadership to Republican obstruction designed to make it look like you have a coordination problem. He was quick to add that no one should assume that I'm a Democrat either. I'm an independent, you know. In his 2010 book LL Cool J's Platinum 360 Diet and Lifestyle, he included Obama in a list of people he admired, stating that the then-president had accomplished what people thought was impossible. Philanthropy LL Cool J has his own charitable foundation called Jump and Ball, which is based in his hometown of Queens, New York, and offers an athletic and team-building program for young people. He is also involved in many charitable causes for literacy, music, and arts programs for kids and schools. Other Ventures LL Cool J worked behind the scenes with the mid-1980s hip-hop sportswear line troupe. He also launched a clothing line, called Todd Smith, Dot, 98, the brand produced popular urban apparel. Designs included influences from LL's lyrics and tattoos, as well as from other icons in the hip-hop community. LL Cool J has written four books, including I Make My Own Rules, 1997, an autobiography co-written with Karen Hunter. His second book was the children-oriented book called And the Winner Is. Published in 2002. In 2006, LL Cool J and his personal trainer, Dave Scooter Honig, wrote a fitness book titled The Platinum Workout. His fourth book, LL Cool J, Hip Hop Stars, was co-written in 2007 with hip-hop historian Dustin Shekel and public enemies Chuck D. Throughout his career, LL Cool J has started several businesses in the music industry. In 1993, he founded a music label called POG, Power of God, and formed the company Rock the Bells to produce music.